Hey, it's Phil from philandtomplus.com. How are you going? Having a great day. I want to talk to you about how to set goals. How to set goals. Now, I'm, I'm nearly 60, and i got to say that I have been setting goals, well, probably unbeknownst to myself, from when I was about 18. Uh, then, round about the age of 35, I started to set them a little bit more seriously. So between the ages of 18 and 35, again, I was really just, you know, setting little goals. I get get married, improve in my job, get a promotion, you know, buy a house. <laughs> so inadvertently, they were all goals but really by the time I got to my mid 30s and I had a house was married had kids had a family I was really probably stuck and there was a struggle and I got to say that at that point in my whole life in 35 years nobody had ever showed me how to or taught me or spoke to me about how to set goals and so from the age of 35 up until about now, um, I've got to say that I was really setting them on a, a limited scale. And how this, how I know this is because very recently Tom and I were talking and he brought to me some education, some knowledge that he'd come across. And I had a look at it and it was just absolutely amazing what I call, the, I call them the CDs the critical distinctions that I got from that education. The clarity and the depth of that education. Because it was explained to me in a very, well, explicit, explicit way. Now, one of the, one of the secrets or the tricks was that you've got to go after something that you've never gone after before. So I'm, I'm talking here about elite, elite goal setting education, which they don't teach in the standard education system, which they don't teach at kinder or primary school or secondary school, certainly not in the universities, in a master's or a doctorate, basically not taught. Teachers don't talk about it. Parents don't talk about it. Why is it? Because nobody really knows about it. <laughs> but it's sort of out there, but you might say it's outside your awareness. So what you have to do in the elite scape is to set something that you've never ever gone after before. And so a goal, most people think that a goal is to get, to get something, but it's actually not. A goal's there to grow you. So a goal is there for growth. It's for personal growth. And so therefore, when you can set your goals the right way, what, will, what you're hoping to do is that the goal will draw something out of you that you didn't know was there. Maybe something that scares you. And so what has to happen is that you might set a couple of types of goals, a personal goal, a corporate goal, which is related to your workspace, your business, job but you also have personal goals as well and so where you start have a think about what parents say to their kids when they're little they say oh look Johnny you can be anything that you want to be in your life isn't that how it starts <laughs> and then as they become adults they start using the word realistic <laughs> so basically in life what happens is it goes from a fantasy to being realistic, to being logical, to using common sense. <laughs> but there lies the rub. What you have to do is you have to be able to create a fantasy. You have to ask yourself that question, what do I want? What do I want in life? Am I living the life that I really want to live? And so that's where it starts. And so then what happens is You've got to theorize with it. You've got to play around with it, poke around with it, have some fun with it. 
And then what happens is that once you've got a fantasy and a theory, and again, you go back to becoming childlike, is that you create an image. You create an image, something that you can see in your mind's eye. And then you've got to ask yourself a couple of questions. And you would ask yourself the question, am I able? Am I able to go after this goal? Another question would be, am I willing? Am I willing to pay the price? Am I willing to pay the price to go after those, this goal? So if you can deal with those two questions, then the moment you can say, yes, I'll pay the price. I'm willing to pay the price. That's when you've got a goal. <laughs> so can you see the steps between getting from the fantasy to the goal? And then what you do, it's a bit like cooking, a bit of a recipe. You've got to throw in there some spices. You're going to be able to emotionalize your goal with feeling. Emotionalize your goal with feeling. And then what happens is that when you do that, your goal becomes fact. So you've gone from a fantasy, you've gone through these different steps, and it's now become a fact. And then, at that point, you've learned how to go from one point to the other. And then it's just a matter of resetting your goal and going through the process again. But maybe you would start with, well, what do I start again with what do I love to do what do I love to do now they're the things that you know should be taught and need to be taught and are not taught the reason is no one really understands them that's why 96% of the world's population never end up with any money because <laughs> they fundamentally don't know how to set any goals it's part of the reason why our relationships struggle you know 30% of them 40% of them go bang, have a look at uh, the weight loss industry and people on diets, you know, it just doesn't work. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Certainly leave a comment, love to know what you think. Certainly subscribe to our channel because we put out some really great information. And if you have a look in the uh, information tab below, you'll get access to all sorts of other very valuable information just by clicking on the links and uh, you can get get the what we call the right education so to get from A to B you've got to have the right education so you can get there the smartest way and the fastest way and I'm just suggesting it isn't through a standard education the way they teach you standard education all good for maybe getting a roof over your head maybe getting a job, maybe paying the bills, but it's certainly not gonna get you your dreams. Okay, have a great day, wherever you're watching in the world.